Hey guys, just wanted to share a couple tips with you about a tape measure. Uh, there's a couple things you can do to do some simple math with the tape measure to make your life easier. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, some, some things that people struggle with are, um, well, first of all, reading a tape measure. So if you don't know how to read a tape measure, let's do a quick rundown. We'll take in between five and six is one inch. In between five and six are all these little lines. There's 15 little lines. Each one is a sixteenth of an inch. Uh, so the first one is one sixteenth. That's one of these, that size. So one sixteenth. The second one is an eighth. An easy way to remember if you get lost, you can consider this to actually be two eighths, even though that's not really what it is. So you got one, two, and then three sixteenths right here. And then quarter, again, one, two, three, four, five sixteenths right here. And then here, three eighths. Then you have seven sixteenths right here and you have a half after a half is seven eight nine sixteenths after nine sixteenths you have five eighths nine ten eleven sixteenths right here three quarter right here eleven twelve thirteen sixteenths right here seven eighths and fifteen sixteenths so it's separated into groups of sixteenths eighths quarters and half hopefully that makes sense so now that you have that down reading a tape measure there's a couple tricks you can actually do some math with a tape measure pretty easily we'll take uh, simple measurement like uh, let's say 16 inches if you want to know what half of 16 is you take your tape fold it and hold it to 16 inches and then you look down the tape and you can see it right there it's eight inches also if you need to subtract you take say you want to know okay you have 24 inches we'll keep it um, you know even numbers 24 inches to make it simple and let's say you want to know what 24 inches minus 4 is hold your tape like this and you go count 1 2 3 4 it's 20 inches again that's simple but say you want to see what 24 and 1 2 3 4 5 sixteenths is minus 3 and an eighth you go to three and an eighth and it looks like 21 and one two three sixteenths 21 and three sixteenths and instead of just trying to take you know 10 plus inch and seven eighths and do the math out you can just put your tape measure down you go to 10 inch and seven eighths 10 plus one inch plus seven eighths is going to give you 11 and seven eighths. That's an easy measurement again, but that's an example. Uh, another thing you can do is lock your tape on something like this that you can mark 14 inches and say you wanted to add more than what you want to count. So we'll say you want to add 10 inches and you don't want to go one, two, three, four, five. You can add, put your tape at 10 inches, mark the end, and then grab your tape here, measure 24 inches. Again, simple example, but when you're dealing with fractions, it makes it a whole lot easier to do it that way. So those were some simple math tricks that you can do with your tape measure to make life a little easier when you're doing your projects. Hopefully this helps out, and if you like this video, subscribe. Tell me if you didn't like this video in the comments. 
uh, like the video and follow me. I'm planning on doing more videos. So thanks for watching.